Hi, welcome to our video. My name's Faye and this is Simon and together we're FNS resellers and we sell full time on eBay and Amazon. I have literally just got home um, from uh, visiting my mum in hospital and I popped into a charity shop next door and I was in there an hour. <laughs> Were you? Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, it's the first I'm hearing of all of this. Yeah, I've literally just got home. I'm gonna do a whole video now to you and Simon. Simon hasn't seen, well, he's seen one thing because um, he had to carry it for me. I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna go in this really big chaser and I'm gonna look at everything. I'm just gonna take my time having a rummage and a browse. And I'm glad I did because it's it's like a out of town, sort of town, edge of the town centre charity shop. And it, it's not always great for clothes. So I never really look at clothes in there, but I actually took the time and they had half price rails and um, loads of stuff that was reduced. So um, yeah, I'm really pleased. There's probably other mm. things that you would have picked up, but as far as like toys and games and things, I, I didn't go to town, um, but I'm pleased with what you I got. You just went on the outskirts of town. Yeah. <laughs> and I even had a man carry my bags to the car for me. <laughs> oh, should, we, do you wanna, do you wanna, should we do this first? Yeah, so. This is the thing I've seen. We need new lampshades, well, we need lampshades in our house because we, most rooms haven't got them yet. We've lived here two years now. Um, just too busy. So Simon thought, yeah, this would look great in the hallway. Yeah, so I said, is that for the hallway or the landing? I've kind of been manifesting a lampshade to sell for a while. I see a lot of people pick them up. I haven't found any vintage ones that I really want to um, buy yet, but I, there was two um, in the charity shop today kids ones and I, I, I was really far away from it and there was a man in the way I couldn't get there there's loads of furniture um but I thought I reckon that's Ikea I had no idea if it was um so I just looked up Ikea kids lampshades on my phone from a distance and the other one came up and it was it had like uh tigers on it or cheetahs or something but it had loads of marks on it so I didn't buy it but this was the same style and I thought you know what three quid I'm gonna get it uh, it's new, it's got a couple of light marks on it, but it's actually in really good condition. Mm -hmm. um, and I know a lot of uh, IKEA stuff can be quite collectible, so I'm pleased with that. Three pounds, I don't know what I'm gonna list it for. So that's the thing that Simon's seen. Now, this is very light. Um, I think it's supposed to be. Oh, it's upside down. It's the Artsy Original. Two found. You have to do a image search. Yeah. I got it for Amazon. I think this one's still on um, Amazon. Is. Yeah, twenty nine ninety nine used. Yeah, and I paid two pounds. Whilst Faye's grabbing the uh, next thing, shall we see if the dice are in here? Because they sold and aren't. What was interesting on some of the games, it said unchecked, and this one didn't say anything, so I assume it was checked. Yeah, five dice, shaker. Oh, we need a biro. We've got one, two score pads. <laughs> so people can photocopy them. Um, because it's one of the things that people really look out for. Right? If you, like, there's score pads on their own. If you ever come across a Yahtzee score pad for like 20p or something, pick it up. Is there a market for <laughs> no. Okay. I don't think so. Picked up three DVDs. This one, Elvis, like three films. The Elvis collection, GI Blues, King Creole, and Blue Hawaii. Paid £1.25. £24.95 plus £1.26, brand new. Nice. Yeah. We've got Steve McQueen, The Getaway. Hang on, let me peel this. <clears throat> this is 125. Wow, 1999 plus 126, so good rank as well. Brand new seal. And then this one, movies of mass destruction, four DVD set. We've got World on Fire, Weather Wars, Tornado, Warning, and Quantum Apocalypse. It sounds right up your street. Classic sci fi channel for the that. 1299 plus 176. Hmm. So I'm quite pleased with those. Yeah. And I tested. Oh, you shook them, you gave them a the shake. None rattle. There you go. So if Thanks. I start rattling, it's not my fault. Yeah. They're over to you now. I'll pick this up for Amazon. It's Minky Quattro clothesline. Is it sort of new? Or? Yeah. 
It's sealed. They're pretty much, yeah, it's got like sort of a bit better than the mm. corners. Loads of reviews is how it's stock. Cool. This one's probably my pickup of the trip. Oh really? It's Totopoly, but it's a fun school version. Yeah, it's different, that. Eh? What? <laughs> so this one is available new. Only. Only, no used, for £114.99. Quite a lot of reviews. Really so I wonder what it, yeah, I wonder what it sort of usually sells for, but yeah, it's decent signs. Cool. Really good rank, yeah, really good rank. Nice one. I've very done well so far, very well nice. so far. Okay. It's like over 200 quid there. I haven't even got started yet. <laughs> right. Kettlewell. Picked up this cardigan. Um, it's an LL, it's a Kettlewell Colours, I haven't seen that label before. It was £4.50 and feel that, it doesn't feel like it's been worn. It's like really sort of rigid still. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I will list that on eBay and say I have no idea what shade of blue that is. Now, Geordie Chiselhunt, or Geordie Chiselhunt on Instagram, she has a new strategy I've noticed where she picks up stuff just for vintage and just flips them quick just to get some money in because uh, it's so quick to list on vintage. Have you ever listed on vintage? No. It's so quick. So I thought, hmm, okay, I might try that just to see how it goes. So I picked up these shorts. Now I know it's the end of summer, but people are going to be going on holiday as soon as they can, like for the next. Forever. The summer sun anyway. Yeah, and they are ladies shorts, Peruna, £7.50, Re size 22, reduced loads of times, I can't even see what it says. Um, so I thought I might put those on eBay and Vintage to see if I can get quick. Watch this space, we're back on Vintage by the sounds of it. <laughs> um, now this was on the reduced rail, it's a cord midi skirt. Again, this isn't something I'd normally pick up. However, I am, we see so many people selling clothes. eBay's just been rubbish for us over the summer, which is fine. Um, but I'm thinking maybe I just need to do more clothes because that's what everyone does. Um, this was on the reduced rail, I got it for £1.50. It's Jerry Weber. It's very autumnal. Is that because it's brown? Brown cord. Mm. Had a bit of a result on the reduced rail. Some more shorts, but these are Rohan and they are a size 16 and they were reduced to two pounds. And as if you watch our videos regularly, you'll know that we do well with the Rohan trousers that we bought from auction. Hmm. <laughs> just scared the dog, one of the dogs. Sorry, it's like that cartoon run where it's just legs. Sorry, Sneaky. His legs were just going crazy. Uh, also on there, I found another pair. Oh, well, this is a skirt. Rohan skirt, size 16. Must be the same person that donated it. And this was uh, 175. Boom. Mm. Can you guess what I'm going to show you? Rohan. <laughs> Again, is this, 60, is this a size 16? Oh, that bit's hanging off. It's hanging on both thread. Yeah, women's 16. Rohan linen skirt. £1.50. Mm. Now, this is a different brand I've not heard of. This is Adventures de Toil, Twil, T O I L E S. Maybe, Toi. say so. I didn't see it. It's Francais. Oui. <laughs> Très bien. And it's a cardigan, sort of open cardigan, but this bit is 100% silk. Mm. Looked it up in the shop. This was £4.50, size 16. I heard them say in that shop, if something's been out for more than a month, then come back and um, they'll do your deal. Ah, so you just look at the 
date on the label. Yeah, oh. so there was a couple in there trying to get a deal on a handbag, and they asked the guy behind the counter, and he was like, I'll just go and check with my manager, and um, he came back and said, no, sorry, there's no deal. And they were like, but it's been out for a long time. They're like, no, it's only been out this month, it's only been out a week, and they're like, no, look, it says September 2020. It's a handbag. So they're like, oh, okay, you can't wait for half price then. What? <laughs> they probably just put the wrong year on it. Surely it can't have been there for a year. Don't know. <laughs> well, they changed it. Hmm. Put their biro out and changed the one to zero. Maybe. Right, this is different. For me, it's an East X cardigan, but it's brand new with tags. It cost six pounds. It's a size... Something. Something, something. It's a size UK 14, but it is 33% viscose, 23% nylon, 21% lamb's wool, 17% cotton, 3% angora, and 3% cashmere. Not got any yak in it. No yak or no, and no mohair. But I oh. thought that was all right. Oh. Just trying to be different. Then this one, I looked at everything. I just cannot tell you. I mean, I was in there an hour, for goodness sake. I thought right. you were gone a while. Oh, yeah. This is a vibris... A vibrissimo. A bravissimo <laughs> 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 sports, like, gym top. It's, like, really curvy, super curvy. Yeah, it's like, it's got boobs. Yeah. Like, it's, like, it's already got them. This was 175 in the sale and size 12, really super curvy. Next up, we've got this Joe Brown's brand new with tags top. Couldn't believe I found what I found in there really because it's just, yeah, surprised. It's a size 18, cost £4.50. And there you go. There was blatantly, there was a couple of women behind me sort of working their way, way along the rails and I was just like, yep. Yeah, Yep, yep, yep. And then I was thinking, buy it all. Yeah, what are they getting? And I think I thought I had to go and put a load of stuff by the counter. And we do this a lot in charity shops. We always say, can we put this by the counter while we carry on looking? Because you just can't carry it all. And um, I thought she's gonna get ahead of me. I've got to be quick. <laughs> <laughs> now this one is David. Ne Nepia, Napier. Nepia, isn't it? I've never found this before. I always get mixed up with the David Emmanuel guy. I've not picked it up. Um, but this, I don't know who it was today. Was it Copper Tree? Ha found uh, David Nepia, Napier. Nepia. Ne Nepia um, dressing gown. And it's, so it's just in my mind. And this was on the reduced rail. It was £3.50. It's IE, so it's either it's never going to be Napier, it's either going to be Nepia or Nipa. Nipia. Or Nipa, could be so. Nipia, because I'm sure I've heard Sophie say it. Oh, Sophie, what would you say? Size 12. Oh, throw it in my face. Next up is this interesting. So I found my first ever jumpsuit in the last. It was in last week's charity. Oh, yeah, it's when I went, sorry. Um, so I found another one today. Now we've sold monkey underwear before. Some of it's done all right, some hasn't. But I know that some jumpsuit. Monkle, no. no. Not monkle. <laughs> okay, I've got this monkle. <laughs> monkle. <laughs> Size large, um, eight pound. I just, I've, I've looked at a few different jumpsuits recently online and the ones with patterns do really well. So yeah. Um, that's that. There you go, take the monkle away. <laughs> Got a couple more bits to go. Oh, what's this one? He, oh, well, I've never found this before in the wild. It's Patagonia. Oh, uh, you have? Oh, We've right. got a jacket in the barn that needed, we bought about two years ago. Oh, yeah. Faye was going to get it taken to the Repairers. Repair people. And then it was locked down. And then it was locked down and then Forgot. out of sight, out of mind with this one. I, I see it every day because it's in the barn, in a bag, and I know what it is. It's a scort. Oh, a scort. 
Patagonia Scott, size 14, £3.50. Mm. Nice. Didn't even look it up. A lot of this I didn't look up, to be honest. Then this one, it's mint velvet, paid £6.50. It's a dress. Why are you, why are you sniggering about that? Don't know. <laughs> Sniggering at me from behind the dress. A monkle. Um, Six pound fifty, but it also comes with like a matching scarf. Oh, I thought that was. I was going to say these two things are the same. It's oh, yeah. size fourteen, and it's brand new with tags. Brand new with tags, forty-five pounds, and that was one hundred and nine pounds. Where does it say forty-five? Oh yeah. This so is forty-five. This is one hundred nine. So one hundred fifty-four pounds worth for. Six pound fifty. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Very good. And then lastly, I picked up these mint velvet jeans, size 14, excellent condition, zip fly, uh, 14 regular for five pounds. Mm. And they don't feel like they've been worn. Yeah, feel Hang on, I'm gonna do what Sophie does. So yeah. Did she do that? Yeah, I love how she folds the jeans when she's talking. Oh. I haven't told her that yet though. Just gotta find out soon enough. Is that everything you got then? That's everything I've got. Cool. What do you think? I think it's very good. What was yeah. your favourite pickup of mine? Um, they was all really good. The DVDs were really good. Totopoly would be interesting. And sometimes when you look up prices, as we've said many, many, many times, they're a bit sort of red herrings. Um, and, you, and you look on eBay and it's like, 9.99 um, which doesn't mean to say you can't command a lot more did i say i paid three pound fifty for it yeah um i was watching one of um vinegar jars videos today and he had lego creationry and he said um that he thought he'd get 15 pounds for it and i remember we sold two in the last month and we sold them for 32 pounds on amazon so i'm assuming he went for he said £15 because he'd looked it up. He might not have done, might have just been having a stab, but yeah, we got 32 each for him on Amazon within the last month. So, you know, even if it is selling on eBay for less, you can often get more for it, especially it's not available used on Amazon. So, uh, some, you know, there's a lot of people that shop on Amazon that have never shopped on eBay and um, vice versa. Well, this is only, like, this isn't that old, it's like from 2013. Yeah. So, nice. my favourite pickup, probably the Monkle, because Simon <laughs> called it Monkle. Um, all, the mint, velvet, all the mint velvet's pretty good, the mint velvet dress with the matching scarf. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, well, would you have picked any of that up? Would you have picked any of that up? <laughs> Um, that... while, while you've been out and about, <coughs> I've been playing around with coupons. If you follow us on Instagram, um, you might have seen my story. Um, that I've decided to sort of take the leap and send coupons to customers. So I went through, I did 90 days, about 700 coupons that I sent. Um, so it'd be interesting to hear if you do coupons on eBay, if you send coupons to your customers and what sort of success have you got? Because we've got breaking news, we made a sale for £7.19 pence. Was it a bra? Off a coupon, yeah. It was a Carol Hockman bra, we had it up for eight ninety nine, um, Which is it's fine, you know, we just do 20% of everything, but it's got its limitations. But yeah, it'd be interesting to know uh, if you're watching this and you use coupons, how you get on with those. I say coupon, he says coupon. What do you say? Monkle, monkey, coupon, coupon? <laughs> yeah, send us a voice message on Instagram so we know exactly what you mean. And that'll be my last source and trip for a little while because I've got lots to list. Hope you liked the video. Please like, subscribe, you know the score, comment, say hi on Instagram, whatever. But um, it'd be nice to hear from you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.